Javier Javier has also been working on the uh, AI DSL, which is the language that allows the AI algorithms within the Singularity Net platform to communicate to each other. So that's a critical infrastru infrastructure in our ecosystem. And uh, we are keen to know more about how it works. So again, over to you, Kabir. Thank you. AI DSL, uh, which stands for the domain specific language for the artificial intelligence is in my view, uh, one of the most important aspects of the Singularity Net phase two, because AI DSL is the glue that will be holding the decentralized AI agents together by enable them to interact with each other and the platform itself and the whole ecosystem in a very non-trivial manner. So the vision of Singularity Net includes this notion of meta API or uh, API of APIs, which will allow AIs to describe uh, to each other the operations, the functions, inputs and outputs, data types and data sources, and to understand operations, functions, uh, inputs and outputs of other agents within the platform. So the goal of the AI DSL is to enable agents to search, match, reason about, and call other agents in the platform in order to self-organize into larger and more intelligent AI agent uh, assemblages for autonomous adaptation and scaling towards more complex, more beneficial, uh, more innovative AI and computational workflows in an unrestricted and uh, open-ended open -ended manner, uh, which one can uh, clearly imagine how this technological vision relates to the world of singularity in the name of the, of the Singularity Net. So for high-level understanding of AI DSL, it may be useful to think in terms of natural human language, without forgetting that it's after all an artificial language. Uh, so there are quite a few important properties of such a language. Uh, first of all, it should have a well-defined vocabulary and the alphabet over which it can allow to express and understand uh, infinite amount of meanings in, in, in this case, AI roles, functional descriptions, data types, and so on. Uh, furthermore, each AI agent should be able to express and communicate exactly what is needed for its own uh, purposes, which means that the language should evolve so that uh, to adapt to the needs uh, for expression of new meanings that will arise first of all from all innovative uh, innovations of developers and users of singularity net platform and eventually and hopefully open-ended collaboration of the ai agents themselves uh, however since the ai dsl is a language for describing things in a computational universe and not human universe it has to allow for formal proofs of the correctness of the computational workflows composed of many AI agents, including, uh, but not uh, limited to formal proofs uh, that data structures used in uh, inputs and outputs of AI agents uh, match each other. And uh, at least uh, this will require rapid and deterministic type checking uh, process within the language. So currently we are covering all of the above in terms of researching, experimenting, and developing a so-called middle layer of AI DSL based on the dependently typed language Idris 2 for enabling precise reasoning about AI, AIs and programs composed of other AIs and programs and formal proofs of correctness of such programs in a pretty much recursive manner. Furthermore, we are working on specifying requirements, mechanisms, and supporting technologies for building the base ontology of data types, data sources, descriptions of data sources, and uh, artificial intelligence uh, task types to be used in the vocabulary of AI DSL. Further, we are experimenting and in specifying the principles and mechanics of exposing the AI, this AI DSL ontology to decentralized AI agents 
allowing to describe novel data types and tasks arising from the community developers and reaching eventual consensus about types and descriptions to be used in the, in the network uh, on the global scale. Also specifying the tooling and the development requirements for the, all the above and already experimenting with building certain aspects and, and, and certain blocks of this into the developmental versions of the versions of the platform. Uh, there is a deep reaching and uh, intricate relation between the AI DSL and the uh, SingularityNet spin-off NuNet, which deals with uh, sourcing decentralized hardware resources from the community for the execution of the SingularityNet AI services. And these relations are based on the following, that the AI DSL will include descriptions of the computational resources that are needed for the AI agents to execute themselves. And NuNet will orchestrate the dynamic deployment of the singularity net services on these decentralized hardware resources for each task which will be defined with the help of AI DSL ontology. And NuNet will optimize the workflows so that they will combine several AI services, again, defined by AI DSL, uh, for time, cost, and any custom, custom defined properties. So AI DSL will support the implementation of, of uh, the, one of the key computational and functional principles of NuNet, which is called computational reflection. Uh, the computational reflection, in short, means the ability of AI agents to describe and reason about hardware on which they will be running themselves in terms of simple hardware requirements such as uh, CPU cycles or memory requirements as well as meta properties of computation such as computational costs, uh, time constraints, and so on. Also, hardware resources to a certain extent will be able to reason about the algorithms and AI agents that will be allowed to execute it on them. For example, we will want to express preferences of owners of hardware devices about type of computations that they allow or they would be willing to be executed on the hardware resources. So NUNA team is experimenting with the implementation of this computational reflection as much as the early development phases of AI DSL allows. Uh, for the purpose of building the basis of the platform uh, to understand and utilize language in the future. So most probably this feature will not be included in the NuNet platform alpha version, but for sure we will take care to implement this as the architectural decisions that will enable implementation of AI DSL on the NuNet down the road.